Good morning, hockey fans. Chris Durrell here with RotoPros.com, bringing my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night for Friday, December 20th. We've got four games on tap tonight. We've got the Toronto Maple Leafs, minus 174 favorites going into New York to face the Rangers. The Washington Capitals are minus 194 favorites going into New Jersey to face the Devils. The Dallas Stars playing on a back-to-back go into Florida tonight. Florida is a minus 128 home favorite. And the Pittsburgh Penguins go into Edmonton as minus 129 road favorites on that one as well. Just a quick review here just with a smaller slate. I'm just going to go over a couple things that I'm looking at each day. When I update the sheet, I'm coming in. I'm looking at the Vegas odds, first of all. So as you can see, we've got one game with a 6.5 total tonight. That's the Toronto and the Rangers. We've got one game with a 5.5 total. That's Dallas and Florida. Now you've got your projected goals here. you got your team offense versus the opponent's defense. And then the differential there to help uh, point things out. So one that stands out immediately is Washington's number three overall offense versus New Jersey's 29th overall offense. And then we've got that split down into home and road. Um, so one that stands out here a little bit would be the Rangers are 15th in home offense while Toronto's 20th in road defense. That gives you a plus five differential there. Um, one way to look at it. And then down here, Pittsburgh is the number three road offense. And Edmonton is 30th, second worst at home in terms of uh, home home defense. So that's a plus 27 there. So that really stands out. If you want to get a little bit more into the advanced stats, these are scoring chances. So Toronto is third overall in scoring chances per 60 minutes, while the Rangers are dead last in um, scoring chances against per 60 minutes. So that shows a ton of upside for the Toronto offense tonight. So that stands out to me. Uh, Toronto's definitely going to be on my radar. If you have more questions about any of this, definitely hit me up in the Rotopros chat or on Twitter at Jaeger underscore bombs nine or at Rotopros. I can definitely help you out with this um, in terms of one-on-one -on -one coaching and helping to explain the sheet a little bit more. With that, let's just jump right in, take a look at some core plays that I'm going to be using in my cash game lineups tonight. Um, if you want to see GPP plays, maybe some other value plays that I'm looking at and concentrating on, um, definitely get a copy of the sheet later on in chat, and you'll be able to see all my plays in there as well. So let's jump into goalies. A little bit tougher tonight, like I said, with the smaller slate. The first place I'm going to, um, I'm going to actually start with Ilya Samsonov. He's a little bit cheaper on FanDuel, $1,000 cheaper. So he's one I'm looking at on FanDuel um, as my core play. He's actually been good lately. He's won three straight. He's only allowed five goals, no more than two in any of those three starts. The only concern with him is Washington hasn't been allowing a lot of shots. They've been playing fairly good defensively lately. He's, he's faced under 30 shots in each of those last three games, and he's facing about 29.2, uh, sorry, 29.0 shots against per 60 minutes on the season. Pretty good with a 918 save percentage. He is, you know, he's not facing a ton of high danger scoring chances. But when he is facing those high danger scoring chances, unfortunately, he hasn't been that great. But I do like the spot here against New Jersey. Um, even though it is on the road, both the goalies tonight are going to be on the road. Um, so we're going to have to pick and choose. Like I said, I'm going to go Samson off on FanDuel. And then on DraftKings, I'm going to be going with Frederick Anderson. He has been... He's been good on the road, um, actually a little bit better. He's 9-4 and four on the road with a 927 save percentage. He's got a 914 save percentage at home. Um, the Leafs are rolling pretty nice. The Rangers, we talked about their offense. Um, you know, it's ranked 30th in the league. Or, sorry, it's ranked 10th overall in the league this year. But in terms of we start looking at the home road splits like we were here, um, 26th. In, in defense at home. So it looks like Toronto's going to be able to put up some goals on them tonight. That win equity is definitely there for Frederick Anderson tonight. And he's facing a few more shots, a little over 31 shots per game. So it gives you that little bit more of a floor than Samsonov. And being the same price, I'm definitely leaning Anderson on DraftKings and Samsonov on FanDuel tonight. So looking at the center position, is it's pretty good position tonight. Um, I mentioned Toronto, so I think you can go with Austin Matthews or John Tavares here. Um, both give you a little bit of shot, give you that shot volume, they give you that upside in this matchup. But I'm leaning Tavares simply because he's a little bit cheaper on both sides, and he's actually been a little bit better lately as well than Matthews. He's got 11 points in his last 10 games. I believe Matthews has only got six in his last 10 games. Um, so that definitely stands out there to me as well. Um, like I said, the slight discount. And then... He's outshot Matthews 44 to 37 with four plus shots in four straight six of his last seven games. So just a little bit of the form plus the discount has me leaning Tavares just a little bit uh, in terms of cash game play um, here tonight. 
So then we got Evgeny Malkin. Uh, Edmonton's been down a little bit lately, so I really want to get a piece of this Pittsburgh uh, offense, even though it's on the road. I know in cash games we talk a lot about trying to target home teams, even with goalies, as well as our offense. But uh, the way this small slate's shaken up, I'm really leaning the road teams tonight. And Malkin is definitely one I'm looking at. He's really been good since Sidney Crosby has gone down um, over his last 10 games. He's tallied 16 points, 30 shots on goal. So he's giving you that floor. He's giving you that upside there as well. Um, he's getting a ton of ice time. And as you should go, obviously goes way up with Crosby off the ice, especially on the power play. So definitely going to be paying up at center tonight. And for wingers, I do have some value guys. Um, but I'm going to start with Ovechkin. If you can afford him, you want to get Alexander Ovechkin in there. He's number one in the league in terms of shot volume, 13.6 shots per 60, 24.9 Corsi 4 per 60, which is just your shot attempts. I'm going to repeat it every day. Corsi is a word that maybe not a lot of people that are new to, to NHL know. It's just shot attempts. So shots per 60 is the shots on net per 60, and Corsi 4 or shot attempts per 60 is shots that are on the net, shots that miss the net, and shots that are blocked. So it's just an overall look at a player's um, shot volume. And Alex Ovechkin is number one in the league. Got the plus matchup against New Jersey's 29th ranked defense. Um, so if you pay up, he's definitely the number one play on this overall slate. He's very expensive, though, so you may have to go a little bit more balanced in cash. But if you're playing multiple lineups, I would definitely get some exposure to him. <clears throat> Sticking with Washington here. Uh, if you want to go a little bit cheaper, get some little bit cheaper exposure to their offense. I really love Jacob Verana tonight. He's only 5,100 on DK, 5,900 on FanDuel. He gives you a little bit of upside, obviously nowhere in the range of Ovechkin. Huge price difference there. But he does have 10 points in his last 10 games. And what I like is the shot volume that he gives. He's down um, his second line, second power play unit. But being off the line of Ovechkin, he gets, he gets that secondary shot volume. Um, when he's out there on the ice because he does have that 35 shots in his last 10 games. And he's also got a 20.6 Corsi 4 per 60 to back that up, which is about, it's top 10 or top 15. It's very close to the top. So the shot volume is really good. The upside's there for Verana. He's got an excellent matchup, and he comes at a nice price in the sub-6K range. A little bit better on DraftKings at 5,100. Now, I also list... Jake Gensel on here. Like I said, I want a piece of uh, Malkin. I talked about him at the center position. I talked about Pittsburgh taking, I think they can take advantage of a struggling Edmonton team right now. Um, they're not only struggling offensively, you know, with two superstars that are kind of up and down right lately with Dreisaitl and McDavid, but their defense has kind of struggled here as well. So I want a piece of that. And pairing Malkin and Gensel together, they're on the top line, top power play unit together. Talked about Malkin. He's got 16 points in his last 10 games. Gensel's been right there. Highly correlated with Malkin. 15 points in his last 10 games. 26 shots on goal. Um, so he doesn't... Malkin gets more of the shot volume, but Gensel is right up there with him. They correlate very well. So if you're using one, it makes a ton of sense to be pairing them together and using the other. I recommend it more on DraftKings. As you can see the price difference here. Gensel's only 300 less than Ovechkin on FanDuel but he's 1,500 less than Ovechkin on DraftKings. So that's where um, Gensel really plays well on DraftKings over FanDuel for me tonight. But I will have exposure on both, just more exposure on, on DraftKings. And then if you're looking for kind of a punt play to help it all tie together, if you're looking to get maybe two or three of those studs in your lineup tonight, Ilya Mikheyev, um, sorry if I butchered that name, for the Leafs. Um, he's skating down the third line, but again, the price is in the mid-3K range on DraftKings, still under 4K on FanDuel. So I'm definitely looking at that. He's only five points in his last 10 games, 24 shots on goal. Um, he's got two, two, five, and three shots in his last, and four before that. So he does have some shot volume uh, trending lately in his last four games. So I do like that. A nice punt play again in a plus matchup. We want some exposure to Toronto. He gives us some cheap exposure. He's also out there on the second power play unit. Um, as you, Just lately, he's kind of getting up there and getting a little bit more power play time. As you can see here, on the season, he's not getting a ton of power play time, but... He is getting some opportunities lately, plus matchup, very cheap, allows you to go out and get like a um, that Gensel-Malkin pairing like we talked about. That would be my top stack, center winger stack tonight in terms of cash games. And then moving on to defense, I'm going to stick with the Leafs here. Morgan Riley stands out a lot to me tonight. Um, in the past, he was never really a shot volume kind of guy that we'd be looking at for cash games and more of an upside plays out there. He gets a lot of ice time on the power play and stuff. 
but I am looking at him in cash games lately. He's got five plus combined shots and blocks in three straight and seven of his last nine games. That's a very high floor. And then, like I said, he gives you that upside there as well. He's on the top pair in second power play unit. He's getting a lot of uh, ice time, almost 25 minutes, as you can see here. Lots of time on the power play. Um, four shots blocks per game on the season, which is really good. And again, with that trending up here lately in a plus matchup and only 5K on both sides, he's almost a lock if you're spending up. And I don't want to say spending up because John Carlson would be the top spend up tonight. But if you want to go down into that next tier, Morgan Riley's an elite points per dollar play for me. And then moving on back to Pittsburgh here for some value, especially on DraftKings at only 3,300. Love John Marino. Uh, he has five plus combined shots blocks in three of his last four games. Top pairing, second power play unit. Doesn't give you much upside. He's only got 15 points, 32 games, so about a half point per game type thing. But we're more looking at that floor, especially at that price. Because, you know, pairing John Marino, getting that McKay have in your lineup, you get those two guys. Um, you can pretty much get that Gensel Melkin combo. You can get Morgan Riley. You can get John Tavares. You can really start to build a nice core for cash games with a very high floor, as well as getting some upside there. You can run that cash game lineup into some GPPs as well. So that covers my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night for Friday, December 20th. If you have any questions, hit me up in the RotoPros chat or on Twitter at Jaeger underscore Bombs 9 or at RotoPros. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I got these NHL videos. It's gonna. This is the fifth day in a row here. I'm gonna keep it going all weekdays, um, moving you know forward into the rest of the season. Obviously, we're gonna have Christmas Day off. I'm going to have some basketball content uh, video for that as well as long as as well as a user contest. So stay tuned for that. Lots going on at Roto Pros. Make sure to get in if you have if you're not a member yet. Make sure to get over to www.rotopros.com. Get your free trial. Um, we've got free trials for our weekly, monthly, and yearly subscriptions. And then we've got some, you know, free rolls. Friday free rolls. Today is the NBA free roll. Sunday it would be NFL. We've also got football on Saturday, so I'm going to have a video out for that as well. Tons coming down the line. Let's go get some green screens tonight. Let's have a great weekend. Good luck, everyone.